it's the end of Christmas Day, and I've had my mom over for a wonderful gnocchi dinner. And tonight, what I'm going to make for you, and with my special guest, my mom, is going to be chestnuts. And we're going to roast them in our oven in a different way. And I want to just bring to you, Mom, my mom, Hello. Linda. Good to be with you, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she is, her favorite um, thing she wanted me to make to end our Christmas di uh, dinner was chestnuts, roasting on an open fire. And why was it you like chestnuts? What does chestnuts remind you of when you say, Deb, I want you to make roasted chestnuts tonight? Why? What does that remind you of? Our family always had roasted chestnuts, and I liked them, and I just continued on having them. So what you're saying here, step on this side. So what you're saying is there's a lot of memories attached yes. to chestnuts. Yes. And? Good memories. What in particular one when you were in New York City? What, what happened there? Well, when you walk around, you find um, a man has a... Um, a stand? A stand, not a stand, something where he can cook the chestnuts, roast them mm -hmm. out there. And then you can buy a bag of them nice and warm to keep you warm. And then you eat them warm and they're delicious and they were nice and tender. So I really enjoy it. So the chestnuts to mom, she passed that memory down to me and my family. So every Christmas day after dinner, we end up having a dish of roasted chestnuts. Because it's a memory. It's a food that has an awesome memory that my mom had and she passed down on us. Hey, with mom's help. Now, she's done them different ways. And I learned an easy way, mom. And what I did here, I've got my little calendar and I've already pre-cut these. Mm -hmm. This is what I learned how to do. These I washed because I got these from my local oh, grocery you have store. To wash them. So I washed them. They're dried. So I'm going to take a nice sharp knife and I'm going to cut all the way down this way. We're just going to make a deep cut all the way down. Hmm. And turn it around. Okay. And that's it. Now, I would let you do it, but it's even hard for me, so I'm going to do it. This is just the... How far down are you going? I'm just going down through the shell. You can hear it kind of crack. And you're crossing. But you want to... No, I'm not crossing. Oh, I'm not making not. X's. I'm making one straight slit. Okay. Now, if you want to put that pan up here, Mom, for me, and take the cover off, we're going to put these chestnuts in there, if you don't mind dropping them in there. Well, all right. And now we're going to put water into them, and we're going to just cover them up. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And then we're not going to, I don't think we're going to put the lid on, but we're going to put them over it here. It boils, but, oh. No, we're going to, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to put it on high, and we're going to let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to scoop them out of there, and we're going to put them in our baking pan, and we're going to bake it at 425 Roasting. degrees Roasting. for 15 minutes. So we're roasting chestnuts, not in an open fire, but in our oven, but they're going to take just as good. And I think you're going to be surprised, Mom, how nice more and tender. fun. Yes, because we're going to do one more step after we take it out of the oven. So we're going to let this come to a boil. One more step. Right now. All right. I forgot to mention, I did put a good healthy pinch of salt in the water. And let's see. Right here, I think, so you could see better. And now I brought the chestnuts just to a simmer, and I'm going to take them right out. Okay, and stick them in our pan. Yeah, this pan's too small. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's just kind of dump them right here. There. Okay. Was hot, Mom? She's got, she's got hands of steel from how many years of cooking? All my life. Oh. <laughs> Over 60. And you'll see that when I made the slits, yeah. we cut it on the top rounded side 
of the chestnuts, okay? So now we're going to put it in our preheated oven to 425 degrees. And we're going to just bake it in here for 15 minutes. And then we'll take it out and show you how to do the rest. All right, our chestnuts have been roasting in a 450 degree or 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. And that's what they look like. They popped open. And if you remember, what we did is we slid the tops, the rounded tops off, opened. Let's put this back here. We slit the top and then we put it in a pot of boiling salted water and we baked them in the oven at 425 for 15 minutes and now we took them out and we're going to let them set in this covered dish just to keep the, let the moisture work its way down for another 15 <laughs> minutes and then we'll be able to open up the shells and release our chestnuts from them. And the reason why we made this was because it's the end of Christmas day, Christmas night, here with my mom, who this is her favorite <laughs> uh, thing to eat. Right, Mom? Oh, it sure is. I love After it. After all that food and dessert, there's always room for oh, there sure is. <laughs> roasted chestnuts because it uh, brings back the memories of chestnuts roasting on the open fire. Open fire. In, like in New, New York, York City. In New York City, every corner has a man with a cart roasting chestnuts. They smell good, and when it's cold and you buy them, you warm them up, and then break them apart and eat them. And they warm your insides. Wow, see all the moisture in there? Yes, my. And look at how these have popped open. Now, we've had them covered for 15 minutes. Look at this, Mother. Wow. Have you ever seen a chestnut pop out that well? No. Nope. Look at Could this. you cut it right? Whoops, well, when I said that well. <laughs> We well, might still need to get a knife on that one, but let's try to open another still one. Open this. Look at that, how beautiful. Look at this. Mm, the whole chestnut come down, came that. out. Yeah. Mm. And this one's going to come out. Try it. Want to try it? Mm -hmm. Oh, you like, she likes to pick it from the shell. Mmm, -hmm. very tasty. My favorite. So, what a delightful way to end Christmas Day by sitting around now, maybe watching your favorite movie, having some freshly roasted chestnuts. Here, would you like one? <laughs> we wish you all a Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. Happy New Year.